You are listening to the Experience 50 podcast for midlife. I'm your host, Mary Rogers. This is episode 163. I'm recording this in the middle of June, a time for major milestones and celebrations like weddings and graduations. And it got me to thinking that our lifetime is marked by a series of celebrations of milestones from a sweet 16 party, bar mitzvah, quinceanero, high school graduation, college graduation, marriages, retirements, and finally, a funeral. Doesn't it seem that there should be a milestone event for people in midlife, that that special time when your parents become more needy and your children become less so? Maybe a halftime party, a golden birthday party. In the Netherlands, the 50th birthday year is marked with a biblical reference of seeing Abraham or seeing Sarah. It's a reference to how wise one must be at the ripe old age of 50. Friends and family install large inflatable dolls of Abraham or Sarah in the front yard of the new 50-year-old. Google it. I don't really see that catching on around the globe, but who knows? I, I would just like to see some special marking of the occasion, and especially an occasion where those who are a little older and a little wiser could maybe share their wisdom with the new mid-lifer. This really is such a huge time of huge changes with our parents starting to seem more like our children and our children leaving the nest, we get our first colonoscopy and the first age spots begin to appear on our hands like little Cocoa Krispies. We should at least get something more than an AARP card arriving in the mail. I like to picture a graduation ceremony with a commencement speech offering us the guidance of a mentor to pave our way into the future with the wisdom of experience in transitioning through midlife. So lucky you, with the benefit of a whopping six plus years into this 50s gig, I'm going to take a stab at what I think this commencement speech might sound like, what it should include. So graduates, please be seated. Listener, today you commence the second chapter, the next act, the back 40 of your time on this earth. Today I am going to share with you not the Ten Commandments, but the five commencements. Number one, today I commence a new relationship with my parents. My advice to you is this, express your gratitude for all that they did for you. Have acceptance that they did the best job of parenting that they were capable of. Realize that they are real people and forgive them for their shortcomings. Hold respect for their independence. Hold respect for your own independence. Accept the responsibility for supporting their desire for happiness without forfeiting your own. For all these reasons, they will appreciate you all the more. Number two, today I commence a new relationship with my adult children. My advice to you, celebrate the memories of their childhood and accept that it is a closed chapter. Allow them the space and the grace to fall, fail, and dust themselves off. Grant them the dignity to make their own choices. Realize that they are real people and forgive them for their shortcomings. Before giving them advice, Ask if they would like your advice. 
For all these reasons, they will appreciate you more. Number three, today I commence a new relationship with myself. My advice, accept full responsibility for your own happiness and life experience. Lovingly care for your body, your mind, and your spirit. Be brave enough to open your mind to new ideas, feelings, perspectives, strengths, and be vulnerable enough to recognize your own shortcomings. Realize that you are a normal human being and forgive yourself for your shortcomings. Celebrate and take advantage of the fact that you have the gift of time to mend fences and build new bridges. For all these reasons, you will find that you have more happiness. Number four, today I commence a new relationship with my significant other. My advice to you, welcome a new beginning with an old lover. Accept that the relationship is in a time of change and be curious in reacquainting yourselves in midlife. Release your partner from the burden of exclusive rights on making you happy. Bring your joy to the relationship. Have high expectations for your partnership. Focus on loving your partner rather than judging their love for you. For all these reasons, they will love you more. Number five. Today, I commence a new relationship with my friends and extended family. My advice? Acknowledge that these are the people who will sustain you. Be good to them. Tend this garden with love and patience. Remove weeds with the diligence of a professional gardener. Invest your time in these assets, not just in thoughts and intentions, but your time and attention. For all these reasons, they will appreciate you more. These are the five commencements of midlife. Remember, as F. Scott Fitzgerald said, it's never too late to become who you want to be. I hope you live a life that you're proud of, and if you find that you're not, I hope you have the strength to start over. F. Scott Fitzgerald. This really can be the best time of your life, so focus on this time of your life. Not your past, not your future, but right now, in this very moment, be focused and intentional in all things. You've got this. We'll be right back. 